Hi there, this is Carrie with Idea Girl Media, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the new Facebook timeline. We're going to um, go through what it looks like, the sections, and a few of the functions. So let's hop over to my Facebook timeline. I'm um, doing this video for you on the day after Easter, so you see I'm still purple like an Easter egg, and um, my timeline cover reflects the, um, the Easter holiday. One thing you'll want to know is that with the timing of this new timeline, you, we also have text requirements. We can only have 20% text on our timeline cover, so um, be on the lookout for notices um, from Facebook if you're a violator. Okay, so on our timeline, um, we now have the smoother look. Um, our timeline cover is 851 by 315. That's the same. Your name is bold white right here. And your um, profile photo is the same size. The difference here is that your um, your little gridded photos are now word links here at the bottom underneath your cover. And um, it's just really nice and smooth. You also have an area of two-thirds of the column that you used to have, like a, a, a one that was a full page, and then um, like a left sidebar. So let's take you through the left sidebar first. Uh, here we have an about section underneath right underneath our profile photo and you can show as much or as little as you'd like on that you would just go into um, edit update your um, information or up in the corner up here um, into your settings to decide how much you want to show here but um, I'm okay with leaving all of this open um, and you can also even update some of the details here so that's your about section that's right underneath your profile photo and then you have instead of that um, little grid of six friends you now get a larger grid of nine of your groovy friends right here on the left and then underneath that you'll see photos that you're tagged in now this is what I look like when I'm not purple like an Easter egg um, <laughs> I tagged myself people tagged me in these photos and then these I tagged from my business page so those are tagged photos now places if you decide to syndicate um, or use Facebook you'll find that here okay and then your music on the left these are um, liked pages you also can go through movies and TV shows and books. I've chosen not to use those sections, but you can. Um, ooh, here we go. Okay, and then my page likes are right underneath that. And then notes, which I haven't touched since 2010, are right underneath that. And then, of course, my Foursquare app. Um, these are places that I visited and checked in, as well as Instagram. My Pinterest doesn't look to be showing right now. It's underneath that. And then my recent activity. So that kind of goes through all of the um, sections on the left hand sidebar not making it dizzy I hope let's go through and um, talk about this this two-thirds main area of your profile so if you start up here the uh, text and update square is mainly the same it just looks a little bit more um, fine and um, all you have to do is put the cursor in and you can start typing your status update like this Okay, and then if you choose to post that, you can post right here. Just some smoother looks. Now, I've had a lot of people post on my timeline today, so I'm going to go through um, some things that, that I had put up for you. So, um, people know that I like purple and coffee. Now, here this morning, I had um, played along with the April Fool's Day holiday, and I posted um, my old timeline look when I first had the new release. I um, took a picture of it, and um, my friend Johnny Bang had designed this cover for me, but I was, you know, just laughing, aha, that um, I wanted to change back to the old timeline, which I do not. I really like the new layout. Um, I decided to highlight it so that it would be um, listed as important for Facebook. And that's as much as you can turn it off by pressing the star or turn it on by highlighting it. And, of course, you still have the same edit or remove functions here just like before. Okay, so you have that um, there. Now, why highlight? <clears throat> this used to make the whole post as wide as your timeline. It no longer does. Um, I'm going to take you down to another post that I highlighted just to show you how it looks when it sticks around. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. Um, here's from last night. Um, someone had uh, posted about what's in my cup that we play on my Facebook page every Sunday at 9 p.m. She had some really nice things to say, so I think I'm going to highlight that post here. So... Um, I want to go all the way down to this other post that I uh, had made for you. It It's about a blog post that um, I wrote. 
Whew, lots of stuff. Okay, here it is. So it stays this size for you, and this is from Saturday, a few days ago, and I've highlighted it here. And um, it's a blog post and social listening tools that I had made available on my profile as well. Okay, it's still, you know, looking the same. But what happens is when you go back in time on your timeline here on the um, left over here, let's press 2012. Okay, this is going back into time, back on the calendar, and here you have the same looks, who my friends, you know, my hot friends were then. Um, but you're seeing that the, the highlighted posts come up first on your timeline when you go back in time. So when you highlight a post, it just means that Facebook is going to prioritize that for you um, in the shuffle. So let's go back up to now, and um, that's kind of the look on um, the new Facebook timeline. You can opt to update your info here, um, over in the more section that we um, that we have now. It, it just gives you your um, your other sections, your other applications or app, apps that you decide to plug in. You can edit those here. Your activity log. You can see what you've been doing on Facebook. So that's all. Everything is just very accessible to you, and it looks very much similar um, on the mobile app, except it's not exactly the same. Um, if you have any questions about the new Facebook timeline, hop on over to my page, um, facebook.com slash ideagrowmedia, and I answer questions on my wall every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you have an immediate question, you can tweet me. I have my Twitter link right here at ConnectU, or hop on over to my website, and um, I do have some tutorials and resources there for you, and also a contact page. So I hope this has been helpful for you and answered some questions. This is the new Facebook timeline for personal profiles. My name is Carrie, and I'm with Idea Girl Media. I hope to talk to you soon. Take care.